Okay, so the first one we're going to do is f of x equals 2x plus 1 squared, x minus 1, x plus 1. What form is this in? This is factored form. How do we know that it's factored form, Story? The different parentheses tell me the different... Um, or give me different information about the graph. Nas, what do those parentheses, what do the things in that parenthesis give me? What are the different terms in the parentheses giving me? What do you mean? Okay, so Story told us that the way we know that it's factored form is the different sets of parentheses. What is perfect? They give me my roots. Okay. Jake, what are roots? What do roots tell me? Okay, one of the things it tells me is my degree of my polynomial. What else do roots tell me, Chris? What are roots? What are roots? What are they? What does it tell They're me? They're points. Where? On the where? Where? X. X. They're X intercepts. So yeah. what does it mean to be an X intercept? Okay, so it's where it crosses my X axis. So roots are the same thing as what I'm hearing as zeros, uh, x-intercepts, roots all mean the exact same thing, okay? So my actual zeros, Amari G, how do I find my actual roots? Um, count the x's. Not the x's. Oh, wait. wait. How do I actually find oh, where it crosses? I forgot. I know how you do it. I just can't think of it right now. You can't think of it. You want to phone a friend? Yeah. Phone a friend. <laughs> how do I find what my actual roots are from my... Oh, so you set them equal to zero? Perfect. I set each of my sets of parentheses equal to zero, and I solve for the variable. I'm going to have x equals negative one half, x equals one, x equals negative one. Okay? So those are just when I set my parentheses equal to zero. Yes, ma'am. Are you going to have um, two one halves because it's squared? Okay. So Hale is a little ahead of me, but she noticed that I should have two of these. How did you know that I should have two? Because there's a square. Okay. Because there's a square outside my parentheses, that means I write this twice. So if I have to write it twice, I have to solve it twice, meaning I should have the solution I should get twice. So that's my multiplicity of two. Okay. Questions so far? Each of these I solved. Okay? What does an exponent tell me? Well, it tells you how much time. How many times I write it, okay? So if I have a squared, how many times am I going to write this 2x plus 1? Twice. There's my multiplicity. Multiplicity, again, tells me what, Adam? What does multiplicity tell me again? How many times you multiply it? Okay, so how many times I see that specific value? Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about my degree. What is my degree? My number of solutions. What else is it? The highest exponent when it's in standard form. How many zeros? should I have from this equation? Four. four. Any questions on why my degree is four? Because of the x's? Okay. You count either how many roots you've had, which is one, two, because it's a multiplicity of two, three, four, or in your original, count how many times you see an x. That'll tell you your degree.
Rachel, what's my leading coefficient? Uh, two. Or four. Why four? This is x, right? Okay. Remember, you, when you're finding the leading coefficient, you take all the coefficients in front of all your x's and multiply them together. But since I have an exponent of 2, how many times am I seeing this 2? Twice. Twice. So this is going to be 2 times 2 times 1 times 1, which gives me a leading coefficient of 4. Okay. Irfan, how do I find my y-intercept using factor form? How do I find my y-intercept? Think about it. Hold on. Think about it. How do I find my what is my y-intercept? What does a y-intercept tell me when I'm looking at a graph? If x-intercepts tell me where it crosses my x-axis, y-intercept tells me what? If my x-intercepts tell me where I cross my x-axis, the y-intercept would tell me what information about my graph? Where it does what? Y-intercept tells me what? Brianna, if an x-intercept tells me where it crosses my x-axis, where does, what does a y-intercept tell me? Where it crosses your y-axis, okay? When I'm crossing my y-axis, what is my value of x? Bless you. Zero. Zero. So to find my y-intercept, I have to do what? Plug in zero every time I see an x. So this is going to be 2 times 0 plus 1 squared. 0 minus 1, 0 plus 1. So this is going to be 1 times negative 1 times 1. So what is my y-intercept? 0, 0, negative 1. Oh, oh, no. Okay. 2 times 0 is what? 0. Plus 1? Nine. Square it. 1. Okay. 0 minus 1? Negative 1. Okay. 0 plus 1? What's 1 times negative 1? Times a positive 1 means it's still negative. So this is nothing new. We've been doing this for a couple days now. Yep. Okay? Any questions up to this point? So the two big things that I'm going to look at when I'm talking about end behavior and sketching a graph are going to be my degree and my leading coefficient. Okay? My degree, is that even or odd? Even. It's going to be even. What that tells me about my ends is they're going to point the same direction. Okay? Then I'm going to look at my uh, leading coefficient and tell if it's positive or negative. In this case, is it positive or negative? Positive. Positive. So what that tells me is that both of my ends are going to be pointing towards positive infinity. Okay? Any questions on any of the things that I just said? No. Okay. So when I'm writing end behavior, I have as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches that. Okay, what did we just say my ends of my graphs were going to be pointing towards? Positive. Positive infinity. So as I look at my graph on the left, it's still going to be pointing up towards positive infinity, meaning my y values are going to be going towards positive infinity. As I look at the right side of my graph, uh, we also said that they're going to be pointing the same direction, meaning this is also positive infinity. You good? 
question? So it's yes. positive, but all because of the leading coefficient. Because the leading coefficient is positive, and they're both positive because it's even. If you have a degree that's even, it tells you that your ends of your graphs will both point the same direction. If it's odd, so if even they point the same direction, what do you think odd does? Um, one points. You'll have one of each. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Questions so far on even? Where do you think it would go? I mean, I know that, but like, so this is like negative. Okay, so if, there, if my leading coefficient was negative, where do you think both of them would go? If my leading coefficient is positive and they're both pointing up, what do you think would happen if my leading coefficient was negative? They would both go down. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so any questions with end behavior so far? Okay, so now I'm going to sketch a graph. What did we say my roots tell me again? My x-intercepts are where my graph crosses my x-axis. So I'm going to go back to my roots. I'm going to have one point at negative 1, one point at positive 1, and a point at negative 1 half. Okay? I'm also going to plot a point for my y-intercept, which was 0, negative 1. Questions on how I got any of those points? Oh, yeah. And can you say it again? Please. I just graphed my points for my zeros. Okay. So I graphed the point negative one half zero, one zero, negative one zero. Okay. Brett, where did we say my um, ends of my graph are going to point? Positive. They're going to point positive. So that means I'm going to start up here and end up here. So now we got to talk about multiplicity. Okay. At the point negative one half zero, how many times do we see that point? Twice. I see it twice, so it has a multiplicity of two. Okay. If it has an even multiplicity, it's going to touch the graph and turn the way it came. So anytime you have a multiplicity that's even, that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, so on and so forth, it'll touch the point and go back the way I came. Mm -hmm. Negative 1, 0 has what kind of multiplicity, even or odd? Oh, odd? It has odd. So if I touch and turn at an even, I'm going to go through at an odd. So at the point one zero, Scotty, does it go through or touch and turn? Why does it go through? Because my multiplicity is odd, so that means I'm going to go through my point. Questions on any of the multiplicity before we start to sketch? So. I'm going to write that negative one first. Did we say we go through or touch and turn? At negative one, I'm going to go through. So I'm going to start high, and I'm going to go through my point. At some point down here, I'm going to turn back because I need to get back to negative one half. What did we say was going to happen at negative one half? I'm going to touch it, and I'm going to go back the way I came. So at some point I'm going to go through negative 1, and then I'm going to come to positive 1. What did we say was going to happen at that point? Through. I'm going to go through it. Okay. So now i got to make sure that my ends are right. We said we were going to go, what were my ends supposed to point towards? Uh, positive. Positive. Are they both pointing positive? Yes. Okay. So there's my sketch. 